Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School, and this Tech Tuesday we're going to be talking about why your 4-speed automatic transmission won't shift at wide open throttle. So it's a fairly common problem for you guys to not have your 4-speed transmission shifting at wide open throttle. Now, while these are fairly simple transmissions to actually tune, there is some things you can do wrong when it comes to tuning them that's going to cause this issue. And I'm going to show you exactly what those things are inside of our software here. So let's go ahead and open up the transmission section here. And just to give you guys an understanding, this file is out of a 2001 uh, Pontiac Trans Am. So this is you know very common four-speed car. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Auto Shift Speed. Now basically there's two things that really determine when this transmission is going to shift. The first is shift speed. Now shift speed, if we open this up, this is based off of mile per hour. And you can know that by looking over here next to the text box, it says mile per hour. And it's laid out really simply. It goes one, two, two, three, three, four, and then backwards, two, one, so on and so forth. <clears throat> so. Now that we have this open, we can open up the full throttle shift RPM table over here. And we'll pull this off over to our right. Now this is simply what RPM you want to shift at. Now, most of the time when you're messing with these tables, your wide open throttle stuff's actually going to be usually in the performance section, not always normal, but you just have to feel it out and really see where this issue is occurring. But basically the way the ECM works is the first thing it looks at is it looks at mile per hour. It goes, okay, you've achieved this mile per hour. Next, it starts looking for RPM. As soon as it sees that RPM, it will shift the car. Now the problem occurs a lot of times when you change gear and tire size, the car is gonna see the RPM before it sees the mile per hour. Now when that happens, it doesn't actually shift and it'll just go up and bang off the rev limiter, right? Now this is a really common problem and there is one thing you have to be aware of and that's that your rev limiter is not actually just set low. So, but if you if you verified your rev limiter is not set low, which most of you, it's the first thing you do when that happens, you would just go in here and go, okay, we're gonna shift at 6,000, don't see a problem there. But when you look at your scan file, you can easily say, okay, one, two, we're only at, let's say, 40 miles an hour when we want to shift. You'd have to lower these numbers here. So you'd simply just come in here and lower it to something you would actually see, like 35. So if we were going to try and shift at 40 miles an hour, we'd lower it to 35 and so on. And this can happen at 1, 2, 2, 3, or 3, 4. So this is just some very basic information on what the transmission is looking for to complete the shift and how you might actually get it wrong. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on social media, and as always, stay tuned.